Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and I've just arrived in New York City. This is the start of uh, an absolutely fascinating project that I've been invited to take part in. Um, it is the documentation of a collection of extraordinary guitars, and uh, yeah, it's very, very cool indeed. This goes back to the 1990s, and uh, the collection was immortalized in this book. This may be familiar to some of you. This is Blue Guitar by Ken Vos, a uh, foreword by George Benson, uh, which is very, very cool. Beautiful photography by Leslie Jean Budd. Let me tell you a story as far as I know it so far, and I have to stress that my uh, knowledge of the collection right now is pretty superficial. So, as with any episode, of, uh, of anything I put on my YouTube channel. Um, it's more about me learning and, uh, and you know, you're invited to, uh, <laughs> to join me for that. So, here we go. Um, Scott Shinnery. A vitally important name. Scott Shinnery was arguably one of the first true um, patrons of the arts when it comes to luthier-made guitars. Uh, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that without Scott's um, incredible drive to, uh, to commission bespoke instruments, uh, my own life would have been very different. You know, I spent uh, 10 years as a, as a dealer in the, the bleeding edge of, uh, um, of the high-end custom and almost bespoke. Uh, instrument and I'm firmly convinced that that wouldn't have happened without Scott and, and later other people like him. So anyway the story as I know it is that uh, Scott's wife was a painter and she inspired him to uh, commission a beautiful collection of handmade archtop guitars. There is just a little bit of footage of Scott talking about this uh, this collection, and uh, I found a bit. Here it comes. So I thought it would be interesting um, to get all the builders together, or conceptually, like if you got all the portrait painters together, to interpret the same subject and to see how each person interprets differently. So we put together a list of about. It started out about 15, but when we really looked close, we we added some and 22 luthiers, and we gave them this direction make the very best guitar you can make in blue, 18 inches at the lower bow, and I gave them neck specifications. And the results have surpassed all my expectations. I absolutely love this idea of commissioning different artists to, uh, to create something along the same subject, you know, a, a portrait or, or a guitar or a sculpture. It's a beautiful way to, uh, to do things. Now, as we'll see in uh, a video later on in this series, um, the actual specifications that Scott gave to the luthiers in question were, um, they were pretty loose. He had very um, specific uh, ideas about the neck width, <laughs> which we will see uh, in a later uh, video, and also the width of the low about. These were big uh, blue guitars. Um, yeah, so as I say, we're right at the start of this. I'm hoping that you'll, uh, you'll join me. I will put as many episodes of, uh, of this video diary out there as, as you seem to, uh, to want. And please do feel free to ask questions and, and drop comments um, down below. The luthiers involved in this project include some huge some have sadly passed on, like uh, the extraordinary uh, Jimmy DeQuisto. And yet, my understanding is that it was a guitar by Jimmy DeQuisto that first inspired the whole of this collection. Now, I'm perfectly prepared to, uh, to be contradicted as we go. As I said, this is just my understanding um, as, as we go now, and as, as you know, I've been reading through the book, I've been talking to people, I've had all sorts of preliminary chats. We have, as I say, some huge names. We have some names that 
I'm hoping to film with who are dear, dear personal friends and just the opportunity to spend time with them after too long uh, is, is something that I'm absolutely relishing. Um, but the fact that they were part of this project, the fact that they contributed an instrument, they were, you know, it's... Uh, You'll have to forgive me, I'm a little bit jet-lagged. And uh, I'm also, uh, you know, perhaps understandably, uh, quite overcome at, uh, at being involved in, in something so earth-shatteringly cool. Um, the reason I was invited to take part, uh, from, from what I understand, uh, the, I was invited by the Archtop Foundation, which has been newly set up. The, uh, the whole collection was auctioned. Uh, just before Christmas last year, and uh, the Archdale Foundation who bought it um, invited me to to document the process. I'm going to be making films with each guitar. I'm going to be making well, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I'm going to be pumping out a lot of content, not only for their own archives, but also right here on on my new YouTube channel. Um, apparently, the audition film was a video that I made several years ago, we're going back to uh, 2018, about the Group of Seven uh, guitar collection. Um, which, uh, I don't know if you've seen that, not a lot of people have, I mean, it's a, a video that's nearing, I think, five years now, and it's had maybe 3,000 hits, so I'm inviting you to yeah, revisit it if, if you have watched it, or just check it out. I'll put a card up so, so you can find the thing. I watched it again after... Um, after all these years. It's not particularly easy for me to revisit videos, I'll be quite honest with you. I sometimes find, uh, I think, like anybody, you look back at work that you've done years ago and you find that maybe it's a little naive or it's not quite as pacey or, or whatever. Um, what I was surprised by was the fact that I do actually mention in that video the Scott Shinnery Blue Guitar Collection. Now look at this, Icebergs, Davis Strait. 1930 by Lauren S. Harris. What a painting. It would no doubt have been very tempting for any other luthier to make a nice Scott Shinnery collection style blue burst guitar with a sort of white centre and leave it at that. However, the luthier in question here is none other than Linda Manza, and this is one of her upsettingly wonderful Picasso archtop guitars. I mean, <laughs> what can you say? It's, it's a masterpiece. It's that simple. I've had the pleasure of playing Linda's Picasso guitars in the past, but this goes even further into the realm of sculpture, nature, art, and frankly, the impossible. I'm actually going to shut up now, and you can have a closer look at it. So you never know where just a little thing is, is going to take you. Um, it's taken me to New York, but that's not the only place that, uh, that I'm going to be uh, visiting in the next fortnight uh, while I'm here, and it's perfectly possible that there will be uh, subsequent visits as well. Um, I don't want to spoil it. We're going to be seeing some amazing people, talking to some amazing people. I, oh, I want to tell you all about it now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so, thank you for uh, for listening. <laughs> thank you for dealing with a, uh, a slightly jet-lagged and overexcited Michael Watts. And um, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I will see you in the next episode of this video diary. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you.